Welcome back. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you packed executables and how to tell what they're packed with and how to unpack them and how to open them in Ollie without unpacking them. So, if we run this keygenme, we see it starts up, loads fine, everything, Windows did its thing, check key, it's programmed to not do anything unless it's right, exit, cool. Well, let's open it in Ollie. And all we see is this crap. And all this is is the PE header and then gibberish. If we try to run this, not so good. So let's open this in PEID. PEID is a uh, program that analyzes the PE header and based off of what it finds, it can tell us what it's packed with. This here, FSG 2.0, is what this is packed with. One way to unpack it would be to get the packer itself. Uh, because if it packs, most likely it will also unpack. Um, another way is you could get a PEID plugin, plugins, static unpacker, and we can just save. And here we have an unpacked version. So we run that, everything works fine, cool. Well, why do they, why are things packed? Well, as the name suggests, it's smaller. Uh, it's a compression, much like WinRAR, but instead of making an archive and putting a file into it, and then when you open the archive in the program, taking the file out of it, it turns the program itself into an archive that runs and extracts itself dynamically and then runs what was inside. So if we look at our file size over here, this one's 31 kilobytes, says the other one was only 7. If we open this in Ollie, here we see all the ugliness of a Visual Basic program. So that's one way you can do it, but let's say we can't find an unpacker, we can't get the packer, and we don't want to open it in Ollie and step through the code until it finally unpacks itself, because the program has to unpack itself and then jump to the unpacked code to start the program. So you could just open it in Ollie and animate into and you would eventually have a running program, but it might take a day. Um, another thing you can do is open the program, open Ollie, file, attach, go down to the program, view executable modules, go to the program, oops, that's not the program, and then here you see the ugly Visual Basic program, and everything runs fine. It's still running, and if we try and type something in, check key, nothing happens. We can now go ahead and try and crack this keygenme, but I'll do that in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, just ask, and as always, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.